Hello everybody, I'm um, doing my very first ever DVD update tonight. I figured since I've shown everybody uh, in other vids pretty much my entire collection, the only thing I haven't really shown is my entire bottom row of my bookcase that I have all my DVDs on, most of my DVDs on. Uh, I haven't shown the stuff that's on the bottom shelf there. Uh, I'll try to show it sometime soon. What I'll probably do is just pick the best of the best out of uh, all my special editions that I have down there, like special collector's editions of things, and uh, bring them out and show them. may do it tonight, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, this is a DVD update for now, and uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Uh, in October, I picked up The Wizard of Gore because I got it on uh, deepdiscount.com for pretty cheap, actually. Uh, I like that website. I don't know how many of you out there use it, but they have a lot of good deals a lot of the time. And uh, this is just an old, you know, 60s exploitation horror film. Uh, doesn't have anybody in it, really. Uh, it's directed by Herschel Gordon Lewis. Uh, the DVD features include uh, an audio commentary by the director, Herschel Gordon Lewis. Uh, the original theatrical trailer and a Herschel Gordon Lewis gallery of exploitation art. Uh, the movie's pretty good. I like it. I haven't watched it with the commentary yet, so I have to check that out. Uh, it was recommended to me by several people over the years, and I've always heard about it just being, you know, a, uh, a really gory, nasty, uh, fun-filled movie. If you like that stuff, but uh, let's move on. Next thing is, I got this for $3 at Big Lots. I don't know uh, how many of you out there that watch my vids uh, have Big Lots near you. I don't know if it's like something that's everywhere, if it's just around me, but this was $3. It's pretty nice. I need to get the, the first one and the third one now because I didn't have any of these, but this one being 3 bucks, I was like, hey, I'm a Kevin Smith fan. Let's check it out. It's $3. But uh, it's really nice. It's two hours of uh, two discs with both of them having two hours uh, of stuff on there, and it's uh, it's just a Q and A session with Kevin Smith on both di both discs, and uh, one's in Toronto and one's in uh, London, and uh, it's really funny. He does a really good job. He, he you know it's uh, entertaining to say the least. And the next thing that I grabbed was uh, the Near Dark collection. Got this used at a, a place that I shop at uh, frequently called Buybacks. <clears throat> if you live around me, if you if you live around here, and uh, you don't shop at Buybacks, you should check them out. They have some really good deals on stuff. They have you know sales here and there, and uh, you know their stock is always changing. So you should check them out uh, for sure. Uh, this I got and I'd wanted for a while because. Um, the new special edition that's supposed to be coming out for you know the, the Blu-ray edition doesn't have like almost any of the stuff that's on this one. This one's got a commentary with the director. Uh, it's got a 47-minute documentary about the making of the film. Uh, it's got a deleted scene with commentary of the director, trailers, uh, storyboards, uh, galleries, uh, talent bios, a couple DVD-ROM features. It comes with uh, a nice little booklet slide case like holographic cover but uh it's a good movie as well if you haven't seen it check it out it's uh it's vampire flea but a little different it's a little different for a vampire movie this here i found at uh at best buy for 10 bucks and i'm a fan of stuff like this i like 70s movies i like older movies uh i love pam greer she's such an awesome actress for those of you out there that haven't discovered her uh, the, the one movie on here, Foxy Brown, has a commentary with the writer and director, Jack Hill. And uh, the other movie's pretty bare bones. It's got some trailers and stuff. But uh, it's uh, Foxy Brown and Black Mama, White Mama. And uh, I'll be watching those probably sometime next month once I get done with all my Western stuff. Uh, this here, I couldn't believe that... I got this for three dollars. Uh, Big Lots had this as well for three bucks. This is, in my opinion, the two best Dragon Ball Z movies ever made. The History of Trunks and Bardock, the Father of Goku. Uh, they're remastered and the sound is amazing. It's got the original, everything's original Japanese. The, the, you know, the, the, it's not edited down, it's not the edited American versions, it's you know the unedited 
you know, with everything in there, versions of uh, both movies. So you have to check that out if you have a uh, buy or if you have a big lots near you, check them out and see if they've still got that. Uh, this one I picked up at Buybacks as well. It was on sale for two bucks, so I figured I couldn't lose out too much. And I've had a friend of mine that's been getting on me to watch this movie forever. So, uh, and it's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. It's got some nice features on it. It's got uh, the original language audio. It's got an English audio track. It's got subtitles. It's got a commentary by director, and I do believe the writer. Uh, it's got a making of special from Bravo. A conversation with Michelle Yao, uh, photo montage, link to the website, filmographies, different stuff. It's got some nice different stuff on there if you don't have it. Uh, the next movies I got is Gifts. Uh, the first one is Ernest Saves Christmas. I didn't have this one. I'm kind of an Ernest fan. I don't like all the stuff. Mainly this one, uh, Ernest Scared Stupid. Mm, Ernest uh, goes to camp and Ernest uh, goes to jail. But those are the ones that I liked that enjoyed. I liked this show too, whenever you had the, the regular, just the TV show. I thought that was funny as well, as a kid. But uh, this next one here, uh, I got as a gift, and this is something rare for me. I don't normally do bootlegs, and I don't normally prefer to even own bootlegs, because <clears throat> now, this, I don't even really consider a bootleg because it was, it was made for me and given to me as a gift. Uh, that to me is a little different. Going out and purchasing bootlegs, I don't, I don't like that, and I don't like downloading stuff either because I think that takes away from the artist. This in particular is something you can't even purchase anyway, which is uh, Halloween Six: The Producer's Cut. This is a completely different cut of the film. Uh, you can't get this cut anywhere other than bootleg, and uh, I saw it at a. Uh, uh, convention that I went to a horror convention and one of the people that I was with I was like man I need to get that I've been looking for that I'd love to have it and and uh, they told me so well, don't worry about it I, you know I can make you a copy of it I've already got it and I was like oh cool that works so they did that for me it's got a nice case to it and everything I haven't watched it yet I need to check it out I need to watch it because I haven't seen that cut of the movie but I'd like to see an official edition come out with some explanation on why we couldn't get it for so long and the next, uh, the next thing in my set is uh, a Blu-ray set that I got for my birthday that I was really excited about, and that is the Matrix Blu-ray set. Uh, it's a really nice set if you're a fan and you have, uh, have a Blu-ray player. Um, it's got all three movies. It's got the Animatrix, which I really like. If you're not into anime, you probably won't care, but it's, uh, it's really good even if you're not. I think everybody should at least give it a shot. And it's got a, another disc in here that's the Matrix Experience 2-Disc Data Bank. Uh, I haven't messed with it yet. I'm not quite sure exactly what that encompasses, but uh, we'll find out. Maybe I'll do a review for this when I get done uh, viewing everything on it. And it also comes with a nice little booklet that explains all the special features and everything in it. But there it is. All right. Uh, Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll probably keep the DVD updates coming as, uh, as I get more. So, take care.